Oh! Oh! Ah, bah, bah, da, 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 da. Italian. Ta-da. Tom's River Gin. Oh! Yep. Played a big role in the Revolutionary War. Welcome back to Player Profile and Projections, or as we call them, P3s. And today we are doing Disco Rana Marinazio out of the bullpen, out of Tom's River, New Jersey, which, as you guys know, was very important during the Civil War. No, uh, Revolutionary. The Revolutionary and, War. And this was this was my open. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. If you're tuning in to a player profile and project, projection on Ron Marinaccio, then you're one of us and we love you and love us back and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We dearly appreciate it. It does help more than you know. And Talking Yanks is a problem right now where subscribers don't match the size and scope of the show. Special shout out to Ron Marinaccio's family that's listening to this. And his high school coach that was on Facebook forums in the playoff telling people he was healthy. So thank you guys for tuning in. We love Ron's um, close-knit crew. So. Yes, I do. Marinaccio. That's the baseball reference pronunciation. The way Joe says it's so cool. I mean, this guy came up. Here, if you don't know what happened last year, Ron Marinaccio, he came up. He was a stud. He had a changeup that was nasty. Um, they started using him in in more pressure situations and and getting bigger outs as the uh, uh, as the Yankees bullpen started falling apart, falling apart. Um, and then they needed to make a change before the trade deadline around that time, and and they needed a clear room because someone was coming back. And instead of um, DFAing Abreu and losing him for nothing, they chose to send Marinaccio down. And then they gave his innings to Abreu, who was worse, and Abreu blew them. And Marinaccio was down in the minors because he just had options and Abreu didn't. There's another theory out there that they were trying to freeze Marinaccio's great stats at that point and um, package him with Glaber or with another player for the trade deadline. And he didn't get traded. I don't know if that theory is true. It's just a theory we heard from people um, who like, you know, know things, but not really know things just like good right. baseball minds. Uh, and then they kind of, he, they, I yelled him, his high school coach was saying it was, he wasn't hurt, but then, but then people were like, no, he is kind of hurt. And then, and then he was like, hurt that he wasn't on the postseason roster, but Boone said, but if someone gets hurt, Marinaccio is the one that's going to get called up. And it's like, but then is he healthy? Right. And it was real weird. Yeah. Towards the end, the vibes around if he was hurt or not hurt. Yeah. I mean, they, um, you know, they sent him down. He had a massive scoreless streak going. Um, he, at one point in the season, 15 games, 19 innings pitch, and you're like, okay, you know, reliever stuff can be fluky, and, you know, if you find the right lane. 19 innings pitch, one hit in that stretch. Uh, Ron was lights out, and, yeah, he's, um, you know, in the pot of things that it, it felt like the Yankees handled in an odd way last year. He's there, and I, I don't know what happened. I, I do know... Um, you know, he wanted to be out there pitching, and you heard whispers through different avenues. Um, so not exactly sure what happens, not sure what Brian Hoke book that comes out in. Uh, interested to find out a little bit. Uh, but he was at uh, the Yankees fantasy camp this year as their their uh, surprise guest. So uh, maybe he's earning brownie points because he doesn't want to do that again. I don't know. What? That's, What'd you just say? That's the picture that Erica has in there. She went to the Yankees like fantasy camp there, and they were like, "Oh, we've got a special guest," and it was Ron Marinaccio. And who else? 
Well, you go down there, and well, there it's was all like the, legends. It's all the legends. You know, it's Willie Randolph and El Duque, it's, and it's those guys. And then they were like, hey, "So we, you're I mean, standing bro- there. You're yeah. standing there yes. next to Willie Randolph and El Duque yeah. and uh, Bernie, and you're hanging out. Yeah. And then they say, we, "Hold up, we, everybody! We, we, got, we a got, member- got a special guest." And set, and then someone bigger than the people you're already with is supposed to walk out, and Ron Marinaccio walks out? A member of the current Yankees. Active Yankee. Yeah. No way. Big way. That's a bad spot for everyone involved. Big way. So that's like, what I'm that's, saying. I think I think Ronnie's searching for brownie points, because I don't that's think That's punishment, well, or he's getting punished more. Ooh, okay. I like that. Like, yeah, we're going to need you to come to fantasy camp and disappoint people. Hey. That's a tough ask. He... He knows it. He's handsome. They're rare with legends. He's handsome. Listen, he's got a devastating changeup. I like it. Um, when he did come back at the end of the season, maybe he was injured because the numbers aren't good. He started getting hit a lot more. Um, I don't know. The changeup in September had a 316 batting average against, but it did have a 178. Uh, expected batting average again, so maybe it's just a bunch of unlucky hits. I don't know. I don't know his role in the bullpen. You could tell me that he has a bad three starts and they just they they twenty eighteen Canely him and send him down to the minors and we just don't see him for a while. Or you could tell me that he's going to be really good and uh, is twenty seventeen Chad Green and is like a stud. Like I have no idea. What's in store for Ron Marinaccio this season? He, um, you know, Clay Holmes is kind of coming in as the closer. Uh, Jonathan Loisica is kind of on deck. Mike King had the breakout, arguably best reliever uh, of the bunch. Uh, Tommy Canely and Wandy Peralta, we, you know, trust with our life in a sick way. And then you're to Lou Trevino... And Ron Marinaccio, who Lou Trevino's 31 and has been doing it in the bigs for a while now. Sometimes his, somehow his service time is so fucked from the A's um, that he has two options left. Uh, Ron Marinaccio has two options, um, and they're going to be used this year, you know? Like, I, I don't know how or I don't know why, and, and like you're saying, it, it could be performance-based, it could be not, but we saw it last year. He's a reliever with two options um, that, I mean, if Ron Marinaccio is pitching good, you you would trust him in an eighth inning, but there's a lot of guys that have a lot more battle wounds that are ahead of him that, yeah, at some point this year he's probably going to have to ride the bus, um, and it's going to be interesting to see how he responds to that. Um, and I, I thought the other thing that was interesting, it's going to be a second time through the league, which is always interesting with any young ball player. And there's also some shift numbers that, uh, with the sh- the full shift going away, uh, with that kind of power changeup that's such an effective pitch for lefties to roll over, um, the a lot of the left-handed hitters he faced did roll over, and we'll see how much the shift affects him um, in this coming season. Yeah, I just think we we got to see way more of that. Got to see how the league reacts to him, how the Yankees treat him. This is a pretty tough projection. We yeah. profiled him perfectly. Jake told you where he was from. Yeah. Told you how it was handled last year. What was his sizes, Jake? Did you say that? How his, what he's listed as size wise? Clothing, shoes. He's six, he's listed 6'2, 205. So you'd assume he's between a large and an extra large shirt, depending where he's getting it. Yeah, um, I don't think he's wearing really tight stuff. Shoes, I'm going to say he's a 12 and a half. Okay. Okay, so now we've fully profiled him. Um, I can't project him. No idea. He was good. How about this? He deserves credit for being good last year, huh? I agree. So hopefully he can build on that. I mean... It's where relievers are so wild. You know, this guy could be a stalwart of the Yankees' bullpen for five years, or (laughs) we might not see him a ton this year. Tough job, man. Tough gig. Real tough. Really tough gig. Uh, Do we have an over-under or anything? Do we... we, 
Is he working on a new pitch? It's got to be. He's got to be working on a cutter. Um, he's four seam change up and slider. Um, let's see what else there was. Uh, something that of note with the pitch clock, he was one of the slower pitchers in Major League Baseball last year. Um, 19.6 for tempo. So, I don't know, if you're looking for pitch clock guys to watch, him, Johnny. Yeah. Speaking of, dude, do you see what Wani just did in the spring training game? It's March 2nd. For those who want to back at this, he just struck out this dude in 20 seconds. And I just, I mean, Wandy does something to me. Like, I want to fight. I want to fight in a good way yeah. when I watch him. You want him to beat me up? I, no, but like, in a, like the way Fight Club probably like revs people's engines. Yeah. Like watching Wandy pitch revs my engine. I get why people beat him up. He's high octane. I love it. <laughs> um, Ron doesn't do that for me, but maybe Ron's kind of low octane. But that's- yeah, like it looks like a little bit of a vampire, um, and goes slow. I mean, how about this? Chad Green is out, and we still have his PPP coming up. Chad Green is out, and he was kind of our boring guy in the bullpen, in the nicest way. He tried to be. He wanted to be. That lane is open for Ron if he wants to snag it. Remember Ron kind of just looked like... Like an NPC? (laughs) Nice, Jim. Look at you. I'm a a gamer. (laughs) You're in it. It just kind of looked like... And here I am pitching at Yankee Stadium. Yeah, I mean he's a he's a flatline guy. Yeah, which that can make you super endearing to fans, a la the goose. Yes, it can. Uh, whose PVP is coming up? He kind of um, looks. He kind of looks like uh, one of the Sartain bro. He looks like the listen, third Sartain brother from Blitz. It's it is. Yeah, Ron Marinaccio's PVP, and there's nothing more we can say. Are you going and to Wandy again? Can you go watch this Wandy strikeout <laughs> for me? I don't know if I can. I I I tweeted it. I shared it. Oh, okay. um, then yeah, I will. Uh, and, yes, and it, this it's this Ron Marinaccio PPP that has Wandy highlights is brought to you by SeatGeek. Uh, yeah. Make sure you're using code John Boy preseason. Oh, my auntie Rain Uncle Ricker at this game, Jim. Um, she texted me. Uh, when, texted me when Volpe homered. Um, you say oh, you say who's this Wandy guy? Uh, John Boy preseason. 15% off at SeatGeek, whether you're first-time buyer or not. SeatGeek, go to this game. Watch Wandy, watch Ron, watch watch Volpe. John Boy preseason, 15% off. Download the SeatGeek app or click the link in the description. Um, okay, so where I'm going to your Twitter. Yeah, I tweeted, not many things fire me up the way Wandy does. Makes me want to fight Jake. In like a brotherly way, like you and I are right. scrapping. Like just wrestling. Yeah. W R A S S L I N. Rass. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to fight you. We're fighting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, pushing and shoving. Oh, my God. Wandy loves the pitch clock, huh? Loves it, dude. Did you see that? Watch. I've watched it 20 times because it's 20 seconds long. And it's on repeat in front of my face. Yeah. And I'm getting, I need to watch this before Blitzball Battle. It's like firing. Yes, me up. you should. Speaking of, Jolly sent me. Ron Marinaccio, oh. 14 games finished. Under. Uh, under. Way under. Jolly <laughs> sent me a little documentary about all of my losses um, <laughs> with, like, sad music. I need to send it to you. Okay. He's, like, doing a little documentary on it, and I was like, oh, my God, dude, fire me up, Jolly, two days before. Um, anyway, yeah, this, this strikeout's unbelievable by Wandy. Also, as we're doing this, Ron Marinaccio PPP, did you see when when the Yankees social media asked all the players their favorite musical artist and Wandy was trying to get Rodon to say his <laughs> artist? Yeah. Yeah, no, I <laughs> I messaged Joe's because I wasn't familiar with the artist and I was like, who is who is this performance artist? Like, what's he about? 
And Wandy said he's a Spanish guy that sings mostly about big butts. Wandy said that or Joe said that? Joe said that about the guy Wandy wanted Rodan to pick as his favorite artist. <laughs> did you did you see my tweet about it? I don't know. I said like I said something like that was so necessary of Rodan to stand his ground mm. and not let Wandy pressure him into yeah. saying his name. Cause Wandy was like, say this guy. And Rodan was like, nah. And he was like, say him. He's really good. Rodan was like, nah, not that guy. And Wandy's like, say him. Yeah. And Rodan was like, nah, not him. Cause if you don't do that, Wandy has you all season. <laughs> yeah. You're done. You're done. You're like done. Wandy's whistling in your face. Wandy's yeah. answering every question for you. You feed, you you know you feed a stray cat on your back porch. They keep coming yeah. back. And Rodon's new to yeah. the team, so he you know, but he's a stud. He's got some bravado. Like uh, Marinaccio just says, "Yeah, whatever Wandy said," because yeah. I'm intimidated by him. Oh, and horrifying. then he's in his back pocket, and that's why this is Marinaccio's PPP. I brought it together. I tied it up. A lot of I'm on like the I'm on like the twentieth watch of this strikeout by Wandy. It's lot, unbelievable. A lot of Volpe on your timeline, Jim. It's baseball season. I'm starting to share stuff, but I wish it was Peraza. Is he not doing anything? He stole a base. Got yeah, hit by a pitch. Hit by pitch. Dude, is Bossy sitting front row at this Wandy video? At the very end, there's right a dude there. with a backwards hat wearing a Yankee shirt, and it looks like Aaron Bossy. Congrats, Ron. Do-do-do. 